Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's really exciting when you find something hidden in your house that you had previously forgotten about, right? You can multiply that feeling by a thousand when you discover something exciting in an abandoned house. From hair locks in a famous ring to one of the first comic books ever printed, let's look at 10 of the most incredible things found in abandoned mansions. Number 10. Charlotte Bronte's Ring while cleaning out her father-in-law's attic after he passed, a woman found an old mysterious box that contained a ring engraved with renowned Victorian author Charlotte Bronte's name and date of demise, as well as an intricately braided piece of her hair. Without Bronte's classic touch, the ring would cost approximately $32. However, Jeffrey Munn, who is a jewelry specialist, has put it up for about $26,000. A section of the ring comes unhinged to reveal a thin strand of hair inside. But did it really belong to one of the famous Bronte sisters? Munn seems to think so, explaining that it was not uncommon for hair to be incorporated into jewelry in the 19th century. He said that there was a terror of not being able to remember the face and character of the person who had died. Hair wreaths and other pieces of hair work were popular ways of paying tribute to deceased loved ones in England and America during the 17th century and early 20th century. What an incredible way to keep memories! Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Action Comics 1 Action Comics 1 is the comic in which Superman first appeared and is renowned as the most expensive comic book of all time. Approximately 100 copies of Action Comics 1 remain in existence, and one of those belonged to Nicolas Cage. That is, until it was stolen from his home in Los Angeles in 2000. Cage bought the comic for $150,000 in 1997 and thought it was lost forever before a lucky storage hunter found the comic in abandoned storage in a home in Southern California. Cage opted to sell the found comic in 2011 and netted $2.16 million as a result. Certified Guarantee Company, the leading grader of the quality of collectible comics, assigned Cage's copy a grade of 9.0, making it the highest publicly graded copy of Action Comics number no. 1. Another copy, however, was sold in 2014 for $3.2 million, making it the only comic book to have sold for more than $3 million for a single copy. Number 8. Giovanni Baldini Painting during World War II, around four-fifths of the citizens had fled Paris and headed towards the south to the unoccupied zone of France. Among these people that were forced to flee the city was the 23-year-old Solange Bourgeron. Bourgeron died in 2010 at the age of 91, and that is when her heirs were informed about the apartment in Paris. They were curious to see the apartment and immediately went to Paris, where they hired an auctioneer to estimate its contents. They were astonished to find out that for 70 years, the apartment remained untouched, with all of Beaujeron's paintings covered with dust, but perfectly preserved. What surprised them the most was a Giovanni Boldini painting of his muse, Mathilde Heloise Beaujeron, but she is better known as Madame Martha de Florian, who was also the grandmother of the 23-year-old girl who abandoned the apartment. Boldini completed the work in 1888, when Madame Martha de Florian was only 24 years old. The starting price for the painting was 253,000 pounds but 10 bidders pushed its final sale to an astonishing 1.8 million pounds. Number 7. A Timeless Bugatti In 2009, a car was found in the garage of an odd doctor, who was also a compulsive hoarder. Dr. Harold Carr had kept the 1937 Bugatti Type 53S in storage in his garage, amid piles of medical machinery, 1,500 beer steins, thousands of receipts, and even a World War II spy drone. After Dr. Carr's death, his family found the dusty old vehicle and decided to see what they could get for it at auction. When it was finally bought by a telephone bidder at the Bonhams Retro Mobile Car Show in Paris, the price came to more than $3.7 million. It was one of only 17 of its kind ever made, and it was originally able to reach 130 miles per hour when other cars were only able to do about 50. The car was originally bought by Dr. Carr in 1955 for $895, the equivalent of 19 $19,190 today. That's one heck of a buy whichever way you look at it. And while it's sad that this family had to lose their grandfather, at least they got a cool $3 million out of it. 
Number 6. Bronze Age Sword A group of people found a sword lying in a farmyard. They believed it may have been connected to the Battle of the Ford of the Biscuits at the Arni River in 1594. But boy were they wrong. When they showed it to experts, they were told it was not from the battle, but was a rare Bronze Age artifact, dating back to between 800 and 600 BC. It was found by Ambrose Owens in 1965 when he was fishing beside some old stepping stones, and, unaware of its significance, it was left in an old barn at his family farm for more than 50 years. It was recently discovered by his brother Maurice, who thought it to be that important. At the time, somebody told them that it didn't have anything to do with the Battle of the Ford, so therefore it was left to one side and forgotten about. Maurice found it again when he was cleaning out the barn, and the sword was passed on to an archaeologist who had been involved with the battlefield project. The sword was actually 2,600 years old and is assumed to be one of the oldest discoveries man has made. Number 5. Sir John Gordon Sculpture the 18th century bust of Highland Laird and MP Sir John Gordon was discovered by Councillor Maxine Smith in 1998. She was trying to find the old provost's robes and chains. It took her to a small industrial estate in Ballantor, Easter Ross. She checked a garden shed and found the chains and robes. She also stumbled upon something else which blew her mind away. It was the sculpture of Sir John Gordon, the bust of Sir John Gordon created by Edme Bouchardon in 1728 had been lying there for decades and was expected to be lost and forgotten. Smith thinks that the bust must have been put in the shed in the late 80s or early 90s during a council reshuffle. Its worth was estimated to be almost $1.4 million. What a valuable thing to lose while reshuffling. Number 4. Harley-Davidson 8-Valve a 1927 Harley-Davidson 8-valve racer with sidecar had been languishing in a Melbourne, Australia storage unit for 50 years before being rediscovered in the spring of 2015. Harley-Davidson motorcycles from the early 20th century are rare enough items in themselves, but when one surfaces that was uncommon even when new, you know that you probably have an exceptionally rare item on your hands. This bike was a circa 1927 FHA 8-valve V-Twin Racer, complete with its scramble-type sidecar, and it was actually found in a barn. It was one of fewer than 50 ever built. The antique Harley went on to sell for an impressive $424,000 when it came up for auction later that year. That's a lot of dough. This also reminds us of a find in Storage Wars, where two new pristine Harleys surfaced. Estimates put the price around $80,000 each, but the critics said that they'd be lucky to get $40,000. This is quite a good example of how Storage Wars often inflates the expected prices to build drama. But hey, that's showbiz. Number 3. Movie Posters Everyone remembers their first, their first movies. Some people like to collect posters of special movies. A homeowner in Alberta, Canada started to renovate his home and quickly stumbled upon a cinematic treasure. It seems that the home's previous owners had the posters who used them for insulation. The new owner found those old vintage posters which rounded up to 360 from the 1920s and early 1930s. The findings were estimated to be worth a lot because out of 360 posters, 40 of them were sold for around $30,000, which is a lot. This way, he could easily make more than $500,000 if he sold them all. The person used the money to pay off the renovation for the house which he had started. He found all these posters in just two weeks after he bought the house. Wouldn't we all want to find the treasures that make us rich? But not all of us are that lucky. Which movie was your first one? And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Hidden Car A YouTuber posted a video of himself exploring a Spanish mansion, in which he found a car hidden away in a secret garage. This car seemed like it was in perfect condition. It seemed like the people who lived in the mansion left in a hurry because there was leftover furniture and a few other things. The YouTuber also found a pack of bullets in the house. After a while, he left the mansion after feeling a little scared. Number 1. Gold Bars and Coins Inheriting stuff from your relatives can be a bittersweet moment, but for an unnamed man in France, it was just too sweet. A Frenchman who inherited a house from a dead relative discovered a glittering treasure trove of gold coins and bars worth millions. Scattered away in hiding places throughout the house in Normandy, he came across thousands of gold coins and bars weighing 220 pounds in total. There were 5,000 gold pieces, 2 bars of 12 kilos, and 37 ingots of 1 kilo. 
Nicholas, the guy who had visited the house to value furniture offered by sale by the new owner, said the wealth, which was worth $3.7 million, was extremely well hidden. It was everywhere under the furniture, under piles of linen, in the bathroom. He admitted that he himself had overlooked the gold on his visit. It was only when the new owner, whose identity and relationship with the previous owner was withheld, began moving the furniture that he stumbled on the stash. First, he found a tin box of coins screwed to the underside of a piece of furniture. From there, the trail led to a box for a bottle of whiskey and other hiding places, until he hit the jackpot, a pile of gold bars each weighing 12 kilos. That is our list of 10 most incredible things found in abandoned mansions. What is the best thing you found in abandoned places? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button.